Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today we're gonna come back and just talk a little bit more about eBooks and things like that. And I wanna do a little bit of experimentation. Uh, earlier today, I saw in a news article, there's a new eBook reader. I downloaded the app image and uh, played around with it a little bit and then promptly deleted it when, you know, indexing didn't work, chapters didn't work, and there was a thing called Chinese conversion. Not conversion, conversion. So I said, okay, this thing really sucks. But it got me thinking about eBooks. Can you do something on, say, a Kindle without ever connecting it to an Amazon account? I have no idea. This is an experiment. I tried to look it up online and I get all sorts of articles about reading a Kindle offline. Well, I know you can do that. It's simply a matter of downloading your books. The question is, can we get a Kindle and, um, load things to it. What I can see is apparently you can load things with USB. Maybe that applies to the paperweight. I don't know. I'm not paying $200 for an e-ink tablet, but I'll pay 80 bucks for uh, a six inch. This is a, I think this is 2019. It's the 10th generation. So whatever year that is, I think it was 2019. Six inch touch display, 167 PPI, built-in light, Wi-Fi, eight gigs. Package includes a Kindle 10th gen, USB charging cable, built-in rechargeable battery, personalized special offers, that sounds exciting, and sponsored screensavers. And my guess is if you can actually turn the device on and load books up uh, without connecting to the internet, it will never be able to give you those two options. So I don't know. But I think that's why they were selling these Kindles so cheap as to Basically, I'm buying a product that they're pushing ads to me, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what actually happens. And uh, let's see. Oh, I don't know. Um, all right, there's that. Here's your charging cable. Just a standard micro USB. It looks like a good quality cable, though. That's actually kind of neat. Um, and uh, there you go. Learn more about your Kindle by visiting the user guide, which I apparently have to download because everything has to download user guides these days. So here's the device itself. Ooh, look at that. Um, they do not have covers for these at Best Buy. I might be able to find a generic cover for it or something. Um, oh, I thought that was something on a display, but apparently not. Hopefully that when I turn it on, that thing disappears. I don't know. Let's go ahead and Turn the thing on, see what happens. Click the power on button and let's see what happens. Okay, so that disappears and now we get a Kindle logo. Still have a Kindle logo. I, I, I know it's Kindle device. You wanna do something else now, I don't know. While it's waiting to do something, let's see. I don't see any physical buttons on it. Okay, so I gotta set it up. Let's go English, United States, get started. And okay, so it's just telling me preparing your device. While well, it's preparing my device, looks like all of my page things are going to be with touch screen. It looks like I'm not going to uh, have a page turn button unless maybe the power button does a page turn item. I don't know. Uh, so, <clears throat> weeks of battery life holds thousands of books, eight gigabyte for ebooks. As long as the books are written pretty, um, you know, reasonably well, that's just fine. Realize the Amazon Kindle review on a device that's so old. Yeah, well, this is the question. Do we have to ever plug this thing on the internet? That I don't know. Well, it continues to go through this. Um, I was looking at maybe like a Kobu might be better, but you can't really buy those in stores. I could order them in. Uh, I was in town. There's a Best Buy. So I said, well, go ahead and try that out. I didn't even think to go to Barnes and Noble to see about a Nook. Um, I, I just didn't think about it. Uh, so now it wants me to connect to Wi-Fi. Um, so in order to use your Kindle and buy books, you need to connect to Wi-Fi network and register your device. So apparently I have to connect it to Wi-Fi. Um, um, so it looks like I have zero option in that matter. I will have to, okay, there's a button now. I've, I've hit the few buttons. I've hit the cancel and now it says set up Kindle later. Okay. You can complete your setup another time by selecting set up your Kindle from home or library. Complete setup later. Yes, we will complete setup later. So updating your home experience. This may take a moment and basically right here, it's just giving us, um, really just nothing here. So set up your Kindle. Here's dictionaries. 
There's an Oxford dic Dictionary. There's an American Oxford Dictionary. So apparently it comes preloaded with some dictionaries. So woman, an adult human female. That's good to know. A female worker employee, a wife, girlfriend, or lover. A female person associated with a particular place, activity, or occupation. A female paid to clean someone's house and carry out general domestic duties. A pretemporary form to address of a woman. Okay. I don't got, think I ever want to update this thing. So now we're going to go ahead and see, can I connect this thing to my computer without ever setting it up and connecting it onto the internet, view books, and things like that? That's my next big question. So we'll come back to the device a little bit later from the computer and see how that will work. All right, so I'm back in the office here. I got the Kindle still not connected to the internet. It does have these nice little pictures here. I'm not seeing any advertisement type anything like that. So what we're going to do is I have freshly installed the Calibri application and we're going to go ahead and see what this can do. In theory it will allow you to interface with Kindles. Let's go ahead and see if it starts with uh, any first time. Uh, I believe I can drag books over so somewhere around here I put a bunch of ebooks in. Hopefully I can just drag these guys in. Oh good. I didn't want to have to uh, push the import button for my entire book library, so let's go ahead and do that. And it's adding 33 books into the library. So all of my books are on here. Some of these are mine. Some of these are, are just other books that I have in my system that uh, I want to read or have a desire to read. And so let's go ahead and see if this works. In theory, with Calibri, you should just be able to plug your devices in. So we're going to go ahead and just plug the Kindle into the computer and we'll see if it detects that a device is there. I'm going to hit the button. Okay, so it says USB drive mode on my screen and I have um, a window pops up on the screen as you can see and then this says it is a um, Kindle device detected. So Amazon has broken display of covers for books sent to the Kindle by USB cable to work around. You have to either keep your Kindle in airplane mode, which mine is in, or send the books to Kindle, disconnect the Kindle, wait for the covers to be deleted by Amazon, reconnect the Kindle, and Calibri will restore the covers. So that's exciting. All right, so we'll just let that message keep showing up every time. So let's see what happens if I right click and send to device. And so send to main menu, auto convert the book, uh, for the devices. Uh, let's say yes on this one. So that's Adam Smith's. Uh, I wanted to read this George Mueller. So let's hit no on the George Mueller device. And then I'm going to send this one to mine. So it's telling me that uh, conversion to uh, some of these are completed. And let's send Walden over. So yes, and iRobot, that's a fun one. Let's send that one over. We'll hit no. So some of these I'm just sending on the yes option. Some of these I'm sending on the no option. So it looks as though the ones I'm hitting no to are not showing up as on the device. So you see my on device option over here. So these ones are not showing up as on device. So I'm going to go ahead and send this to the device again. It looks like we might have to send it to, uh, uh, it looks like we might have to do that auto conversion. So what's going on with the auto conversion, if you're unfamiliar with Calibri, I have some videos about using Calibri, is that um, if I pull in any given book, it should tell me what formats I have. So um, let's look at Synaptergy, for example. You can see I only have an EPUB. The Kindle can't read an EPUB, at least not the current version. They talked about updated versions of the Kindle will. So that has to use either an AZW or a Mobi. So you see that these ones here that all say checked, you say EPUB and Mobi. So what it's doing is if I say no, it will not create the Mobi. And in theory, Kindle will not know how to read it. So let's go ahead and pull the cable from the Kindle because I think everything is done and see what happens. 
So I turn that out and it takes me back to the screen. I was reading in the dictionary some more. So let's go back to home. And now I can see on the home menu here. And let me, I've auto turned on. So do that. Uh, so basically in my library now, it is actually showing me the books. And I am getting the book covers. Um, so some of these guys are showed up so there's half my life this is my book and that is the correct book cover so there i clicked on a chapter and it takes me right to the chapter click back on the chapter title and this particular book is set up to go back to the table of contents so i indeed can go ahead and do that so let me let's see how i can get back to the main menu though all right there we are so we'll go back to the home i need to throw a few more books on here to test the book covers because most of the ones i threw on here they worked but they're all things that didn't actually have book covers so let me go ahead and plug this guy back in and then we're going to um throw on some more books that actually have book covers. So let's go ahead and send iRobot to the device. And yes, we have established that we do have to uh, do that. Uh, let's do this Fox's Book of Martyrs, which has a cover on it. And I tend to put my all my own books on my devices. It not, has nothing to do with a vanity. It has to do with... Um, uh, it has to do with sometimes I need to refer to them. Let me see if I can select multiple books at once. Ooh, good, I can. And let's see if there's anything else in mine. It's not on the device. All right, so we're going to right click and we're going to send to the device and push yes. So hopefully that will convert. It tells me down here in the corner there are seven active jobs. There's eight, six, six. I think the active jobs are splitting between uh, sending and that. So it says it's all done. We converted the, the books. They're all over there. Sending a books to the device. And everything that is selected now appears beyond there. So I think the notifications are just catching up now. So we go ahead and pull this guy out. And see if all my books are on the Kindle. I do have to be careful because it is trying to give me this um, set up your Kindle thing over here in the corner. Be careful not to hit that. But here we have all of the books that I have over here. And those book covers all look correct. Of course, this is the, the black and white e-reader, which is all I wanted for testing purposes. But this is going to enable me to read my Kindle here. Uh, read any of my ebooks that I have and be able to easily get out there and get out and read outdoors on a Kindle and also test that books are working right on the Kindle uh, without ever having to set it up. So this Kindle has never touched Amazon servers. It has never touched the internet. Now there is one more thing that we have to do on this and that is see if I buy a book on Amazon via my web browser, can I get that book onto here? That is going to be the harder task, and that might be the one I can't do. We'll go ahead and see if I can do a workaround on that. In theory, you can. It says you need to plug it in, but I don't know how exactly I'd get a USB drive plugged in there, except for I might have one USB drive that has this type of port. Maybe it downloads to the computer and transfers it over. I don't know, but even in that case, does the DRM lock it? So as of right now in this video, if you want to get a Kindle to read books that you have downloaded online, EPUB formats, things you're purchasing from people that are uh, DRM free, we now currently have a way to use an official Kindle without ever touching this Kindle to Amazon. So if you're concerned about Amazon tracking you, that is certainly uh, the issue. But let's go ahead and see if I can get this transferred over here in an offline format with USB.
Okay, so I have a couple of items over here. So I can either deliver or remove from device. Here's a more action. Here's download and transfer via USB. You do not have any compatible devices registered for this. Buy a Kindle or get one. Let's see, download and transfer, read now, add, purchase audible, other gift items, loan this, title. So it would appear that here is the downside. If I want to buy a item on, the, uh, on Amazon and send it to the Kindle, it does look as though I would have to do that. So what's curious, get the free Kindle reading app. Um, so it looks as though in order to do that, I would actually have to get a, um, I would have to get either the Kindle reading app or I would have to um, use, uh, register the Kindle with the device. So it looks as though that's the spot that's going to throw us for a loop. Now, will I ever do that with this system? Um, I don't know. And the reason is, um, I don't have it handy right now, it's right up here. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. And the reason is I actually do have one Kindle device that is attached to this account. And that is actually this here. It's just a Samsung tablet. Traditionally, if I want to buy something, uh, buy a book and read it on Kindle, I use this and I can actually um, go through and I can send it to the device. So if I go ahead and deliver or remove to a device, you can see I have my Android test tablet there. That's the one I can send it to. So I'm not going to plug this particular Kindle device into the account because I think it's, um, there's, there's too many things Amazon could do in the background that I don't really want Amazon to be doing in the background. Um, so I'm going to keep this Kindle offline uh, because there's always books that I want to read in a nice format without having to stare at this. But sometimes there is a book, maybe I'm previewing it, reviewing it, or whatever else. There are times when I have a book where I can, uh, I need to read it. I have no problem reading on this device. I just think that this one with the paper white is going to be easier uh, for my eyes, the e-ink I should say. Um, but that answers the question for us though. Uh, do we have to have an Amazon account to use an official Kindle device? At least this particular Kindle device, which is that Gen 10 e-ink Kindle costs, um, I just bought this new for $90 from Best Buy. No, you do not have to tie it into an Amazon account. Hit that hookup, try and access Wi-Fi. hit the cancel button, set up later. You can transfer everything via Calibri from your computer on over. Now, if you have a means to get the, if you buy from Amazon a book on Kindle that's not DRM locked, you can transfer those from your device back to Calibri and then transfer it over from there. But if you have a DRM locked book, you're not gonna be able to uh, do that, at least not without running afoul of laws in several countries. So there is the answer to that question. Let me know if this has been helpful, if there's any other hardware tests out there I should try. Although I have to be really careful because I don't have the ton of money to throw into those. Um, but anyway, this is something that I wanted to do and wanted to test for a while. So I'm glad I did it. Let me know your thoughts uh, in the, the comments down below. And uh, since I do uh, did talk here about Amazon and stuff, if you do use Amazon and you want to help support the channel, I'll go ahead and put my Amazon affiliate link in the uh, description down there. Go ahead and use that. That'll certainly help the channel out and it uh, doesn't cost you anything extra. So thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy... Switching to Linux.